many of you have kind of thought you're just not a very disciplined or self-controlled person? Let's see if that's just kind of been your general attitude about yourself. Well, see that you're wrong right there to start with. So if nothing else, let's get that straightened out today. I don't want you thinking like that anymore. I don't want you talking like that anymore. If you want to have what God wants you to have, you got to get into agreement with God. Stop agreeing with the devil if you don't want his plan for your life. <laughs> Say, I have self-control. I, self I operate in self-control. Self God helps me control myself. Now, I can pretty much promise you, if you'll start to even just say that several times a day, you will start to see a difference. You add prayer to that. You start asking God to help you. You see, if you're focusing on, I don't have any self-control, then you're going to keep not having any self-control. But if you begin to believe what the Word says, then you're going to see that bear fruit in your life. Amen? It's good stuff, huh? I can control myself. God gives you self-control. Now let's watch. 2 Corinthians 5, 14 and 15. For the love of Christ controls and urges and impels us. I love that. Because we are of the opinion and the conviction that if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all, so that all those who live might no longer live to and for themselves, but to and for him who died and was raised again for their sake. Jesus died, so we no longer have to live selfish, self-centered lives. He died so we can die to things that are not healthy for us by simply saying no. 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 No, <laughs> no, 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 